Hello again my friends, I'm so happy you're joining me for another video and if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you and thanks for joining our community. I'm Lucy, your narrator. Before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please kindly take a moment right now and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted of every time I upload a new video. And also please watch this video to the end to see the preview trailer and some behind the scenes photos. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf is a drama movie. It was directed by Mike Nichols and it won five Oscars. It was released in the USA in 1966 and it stars Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. And some of their co-stars were George Siegel and Sandy Dennis. The movie is about a bitter aging couple with the help of alcohol use their young house guests to fuel anguish and emotional pain towards each other over the course of a distressing evening. And now for some behind the scenes trivia and tidbits. Sandy Dennis, who was pregnant at the time of filming, suffered a miscarriage on the set. Poor lady. Dame Elizabeth Taylor was only 33 when this movie was filmed in 1965, while her character Martha is supposed to be 52. And Elizabeth Taylor gained nearly 30 pounds to play the role of a middle-aged wife just for this movie. And in this movie, Elizabeth Taylor does an exaggerated impression of Betty Davis saying a line from Beyond the Forest in 1949, What a Dump. In an interview with Barbara Walters, Davis said that in that movie, she really did not deliver the line in such an exaggerated manner. She said it in a more subtle, low-key manner, but it has passed into legend that she said it the way Taylor delivered it in this movie. And during the interview, the clip of Davis delivering the line from Beyond the Forest was shown to prove that Davis was correct. However, since people expected Davis to deliver the line the way Taylor had, she always opened her in-person, one-woman show by saying the line in a campy, exaggerated manner. What a dump. It was always, it always brought down the house. And she said, I imitated the imitators. <laughs> And in the scene that takes place outside of the bar, George violently pushes Martha into the side of the car in his rage. Richard Burton actually pushed Elizabeth Taylor too hard, and the sound of her head hitting the hood of the car can be heard. Wow. Taylor can be seen to gasp and raise her hand instinctively to the back of her head. She carried on with the scene and character with a noticeable rattle in her voice as she tried to prevent herself from crying in pain. And because of this, Mike Nichols chose to keep this scene instead of reshooting it. And while Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor were forces to be reckoned with while they were working, it was a challenge to actually get them in front of the camera every day. They both had it in their contracts that they didn't have to be on the set until 10 a.m., even though most other productions began at dawn. After they arrived on set, it would take two hours of makeup, hair, and wardrobe to get them ready for shooting, and by the time they were camera ready, it was lunchtime, <laughs> so they would often go off for lengthy cocktail-filled lunches, often with friends, and then return late in the afternoon to finally begin shooting. And when they finally came back late, recalled editor Sam Osteen, they'd just ignore it all. They'd be real nice. Hey, my gold buddy, sorry we're late. Okay, let's shoot. Sometimes they wouldn't come back until 5 o'clock and they had in their contract that they couldn't work past 6 o'clock. 
and the five-month shooting schedule was conducted on location in Northampton, Massachusetts and at Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank, California. And according to cinematographer Haskell Wexler, after the Warner Brothers crew left the New England location used for the exterior of George and Martha's house, the studio was sued by a group of nearby farmers who claimed that all of the bright lighting had upset their cows to where they no longer gave as much milk as before. Virginia Wolf, Virginia Wolf, who's afraid of... <laughs> it's easy to talk about Warner Brothers' new motion picture, Who's Afraid of Virginia Wolf. It's hard to tell about it. Easy to talk about. All you have to say is Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton. <laughs> who's afraid of Virginia <laughs> 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 He's the associate professor of history. She's his wife. The essence of Ivy League charm to students and friends who don't know them well. George Siegel, Sandy Dennis, are the newcomers led by their charming host and hostess to the hell that hides behind those ivy-clad university walls. <laughs> <laughs> Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Sure, I am in the morning. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Virginia Woolf, Virginia Woolf. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Edward Albee wrote the play, the most acclaimed work by this controversial author. Ernest Lehman wrote the screenplay. He did the same for West Side Story and Sound of Music. Mike Nichols directs. His unbroken series of theatrical triumphs have given him a position without peer or rival. All you have is afraid of Virginia Woolf. After that, all you can say is incredible. If you like that one, we've got a lot more. Hotter than your morning coffee. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now, and be blessed.